in jail tonight accused of being behind the wheel during a deadly hit and run tonight people who live in that neighborhood say it's time to make the road safer good evening everyone i'm jim snyder i'm reed cowan in for marie mortera that hit and run happened near sixth street in st louis and it is our top story tonight max darrow joins us live from where it happened and max we understand that tips from the community after it was broadcast actually led police to catching this bad guy those tips helped police identify that suspect and book her this morning. Now this afternoon, this pot of flowers placed right here to memorialize the victim. And tonight, neighbors tell me they'd like to see more safety measures in place. Flowers now sit in front of Shadow Hills Downtown Church, a tribute to 60-year-old Fadia Popovic. While on a routine walk through her neighborhood on Thursday, a driver veered off of the road, hitting her. That driver then took off. Fadia died a few hours later at the hospital. One day later, though, Metro Police identified and arrested the suspected driver, Amy McDermott. How could anybody not stop and render aid to somebody they just hit? Julian Suarez lives just a few hundred feet from where this tragedy happened. It was enough to stop him from taking his regular morning walk. He says drivers speed down this stretch of St. Louis Avenue regularly. Uh, speed bumps would help, you know, lower, you know, the speed. There are speed bumps on some of the side streets as well as stop signs, but on this stretch of St. Louis, nothing to slow drivers down. They treat it like it's a four lane highway. I mean, you see people passing in the bicycle lanes. Todd Barnhart walks his dog twice a day, often near the crash site. He thinks traffic signals would help keep people safe. Lights, yes, I think that would help. There are certain intersections that you just cannot see, you know, the traffic coming the opposite direction. While the cause of the hit and run is still under investigation, Suarez hopes drivers will slow down for the sake of the neighborhood. I didn't know the, the family, but you know what? It hurts. And Thursday's hit and run, this deadly incident was Metro's 109th traffic related fatality this year in their jurisdiction. Reporting live tonight, Max Darrow, News 3. Max, thank you for that. Now we have an update to breaking.